So it's finally here, Qatar 2022, the first World Cup to take place in the Middle East, the first World Cup to take place in the irregular month of November. 32 countries are already in Qatar, 31 of them vying to take over from France as world champions. But who says the French are going to give up the title so easily? With that, not with that kind of team that the Deschamps has brought to Qatar. But that's not the issue here. The issue here is that there is going to be a lot of excitement and state-of-the-art facilities will be hosting these matches. All the matches of the World Cup will be played in some of the best stadiums ever constructed in the world of football. My name is Hurricane Andrew and you're welcome to Guardian Nigeria's Qatar 2022 World Cup Special. A show that will be bringing to you all the best from Qatar 2022 every day until the end of the World Cup. Nigeria will not be at the World Cup, but Keith Daniel will be representing Nigeria at the World Cup and performing in the opening ceremony and possibly performing his Buga song to the global audience. Then after that, we head on to the opening game of the, cell, of the tournament itself between host nation Qatar and Ecuador. Qatar will be hoping not to, be, not to do a South Africa this time around by becoming another host nation that failed to progress to the, uh, the knockout rounds of the World Cup. But when you look at their group with the likes of Senegal, Ecuador, the Netherlands, you're not likely to give the Qataris any chance of progressing past the first round. But host nations always do. But who knows? This might just be another South Africa 2010 happening. But, after that, but then, let me ask you, who do you think, where do you think is the, uh, is the tournament's group of death? Some people say it's Group E, where we have Spain, Costa Rica, Germany, and Japan. Others say it's Group G, where you have the Brazilians, all-time World Cup favorites anytime they go into the World Cup tournament, and Serbia, Switzerland, and African giants, Cameroon. Some people don't say it's even Group H, where you have Ghana, Portugal, Uruguay, and South Korea. But regardless of where that group of death is, one thing is certain, we are in for a very exciting tournament from now till December 18th, one week to Christmas. So Christmas came early this time around and just follow us here on Guardian Nigeria as we give you the World Cup every day. Follow us bit by bit, little by little. We'll join the excitement, the highs, the lows, but there are definitely going to be highs and lows at this World Cup tournament. Some people will laugh at the end of the day, some will cry at the end of the day, but regardless, we're all going to have fun, all we football lovers. So among all these groups I mentioned, which, in your opinion, is the group of death. Hit us in the comment section and keep those comments coming, all right? This has been the Guardian Nigeria Qatar 2022 World Cup special with me, Hurricane Andrew. Follow us for all the big stories as they happen at the World Cup and also follow our social media handles displayed at the bottom of the screen. See you next time.